Hi everybody, Bob Berger over here at Rusty O Toyota. Just we're sitting inside this Highlander and wanted to talk about different drive modes. All right. So while we're in here, I'm gonna clear out of this and we're gonna take a look at here. So you'll see with Toyotas, you got some standard features. Now they do change between different models, but they all pretty much have the same feet or uh, drive modes. So we can see our first view we're on that little switch. We have Eco Sport Normal. You could select them with this little rocker switch right here. What this does is change throttle sensitivity and when the transmission shifts. So in Sport, it's going to hold it to a higher RPM and it's going to be a lot more responsive to throttle. Normal's going to be normal. And Eco is going to make the pedal feel really light, but its goal is to well, keep you from giving it more gas and saving you some money. Now down here we have a couple more. We had some off-road features. We got mud and sand, rock and dirt, and well, they're for the terrain. They say they are. What this is going to do, you'll see with mud sand, it'll even light up some symbols right up here on the dash, and that's because it's going to change the traction control, the vehicle stability, pre-collision all these different safety features to make it a more appropriate driving experience for these off-road conditions. It will also adjust the all-wheel drive for responsiveness as they do use a modern electronic slip differential so the computer can get involved with when different wheels get power. Last button, probably the most important up here in Wisconsin is the snow mode. So we're gonna bump this back to normal and we're gonna hit snow and you'll just get a small little icon that says snow what this does is tells the electronic slip differential which is the component that allows the uh, rear wheels to achieve, get some power behind them to give it a 50, 50 power distribution between the front and rear wheels every time you're at a stop and going forward it's saying to the system instead of waiting for the front wheels to slip hey, once the front wheels will slip, we should give some power to the rear wheels. It says, you know, let's just give the power to the rear wheels right away. Give power to all four wheels. It's a very slippery condition out. It will also change when your transmission shifts and your throttle responsiveness to make it a more safe driving experience in snowing conditions. I know that was a lot to get a hold of in a short bit of time, but I appreciate you watching the video. If you have any questions at all, we're more than happy to answer them. Give us a call at 262-334-9411, 262-334-9411, and ask for the sales staff. We're here for you and any of your questions. Thank you.